everybody. Hopefully this is recording well. Um, I got a new camera. That's one of my terrible hobbies is buying silly toys. So hopefully this camera works better. And if you're curious, I don't really do tech reviews or anything like that. Um, but it's a DJI Pocket 2. And I bought it more for travel just so I don't have to lug around a big Sony or anything like that. Any, anyway, today um, there were so many choices of where to go to eat and I promised somebody I would also review another place but unfortunately I wanted to show their lunch item and it's already dinner time so we'll try that next week but today I'm going to go try out Moa Wings and that's M-O-A Wings and it's uh, located in town uh, behind the new Safeway on Baratania so let's go check it out. So if you're wondering where this Moore Wings truck is, it's right there and the driveway is right next to the police car, oh no. And I'm on Kinal Street and that's that big building right there is that new Safeway off of Baratania Street. And then there's a wine and spirits place right there. Hey, so I'm back from Moore Wings and um, I got the Hawaiian wings, which is like a garlic soy marinade. And I also got the buffalo wings. So I'm a big fan of wings. It's one of the meals that I would like to eat when I'm really hungry and in a rush and don't have time. Um, usually I get them frozen. It's something easy to make. But whenever you can find a good place that makes great wings, um, that's a bonus. So um, let's dig in. These look like some pretty big wings, very meaty. This is the buffalo. Let's try this first. Mmm. Nice and tangy flavor. Definitely a lot of meat on here. I got these spicy. You can get them mild, but it's not that spicy to me. Just right. A little bit on the salty side, though. But it's okay. Okay. Also, a bonus. They give you a lot of paper, paper towels or napkins because it does get messy. And then they give you a uh, choice of blue cheese or ranch. I'm not a blue cheese fan, so I got ranch. So um, now we'll taste the Hawaiian style. It smells really good. Mm. Kind of tastes like a Korean fried chicken with that soy garlic sauce. Really good. It has a slight crunch to it, so it's really nice. Um, I bet you it would have been much more crunchier uh, uh, right there if I ate it there, but um, it did take a while to drive home. But some crunch still is on there. Try it with the ranch sauce. Hmm. Definitely meaty drumsticks and wings. I don't know where they get these, but full of meat. So these are each six piece combos. And if you get the combos, it both came with little sides of rice, which is good. Because sometimes the saltiness of the wings um, really goes well with rice, and I guess it's a Hawaii thing. We always eat rice with everything. But if you don't like rice, you can get their other combo, which comes with their fries. I heard their fries are really good. They have good reviews on Yelp. But the reason I didn't get that one was it comes with a drink, and I don't drink soda. So I got this. This does not come with a drink, it's just uh, rice. So let's try it with rice. And also this time, dip a wing, that's a buffalo wing, into the sauce, because I didn't do that. Got a bone in there. Hmm. That really matches well with the rice, and I guess if, you know, that extra starch, if you're on a lunch break or something, 
that'll definitely fill you up for sure. And they have different combo uh, numbers. So if six is not enough for you, they have 12 and it goes up in numbers. And also, of course, if you want more wings, it's going to cost more. So um, I, I'm not a big eater, so six pieces is more than enough for me. Also included are some veg, like you usually get. It's carrot sticks and celery. Um, looks like a pretty fair amount. I think you get three pieces of each. Let's try these out. Some people don't like the veg veggies on buffalo wings, but I actually like them. I think with the ranch, it really cleanses your palate. Mm. Definitely fresh veggies. You can see they're just cut. I'm not sure if you can see that. But sometimes you go to a buffalo wing place and they give you these shriveled up dry carrot sticks and you know they're dry because they have white marks on them but not here definitely fresh and delicious really goes well with the ranch sauce so talking to the guy in the truck he said that they only have been open for two months so go check them out give them your local support um yeah i mean it was pretty easy to get your food i would suggest calling it in prior to going because it does take 15 to 20 minutes to make it fresh for you um, when you get there. That way you don't have to wait. And um, I'm gonna assume if there's a long line of people, it's gonna take longer. So definitely call your order in. All right, so I'm pretty full. I ate probably, I think I have one, two, three, four, five wings left from both sides. So I'm just stuffed. Um, so we'll go over the pros and cons. The pros are they do live up to their um, testimony that they have very meaty wings and they definitely are meaty. Um, when you bite into them, they're like short and stout, like little mini wings that you would get at the store, but they go outward. So they're pretty, um, yeah, you're not gonna get skimmed on the meat. Uh, my favorite of both would be the Hawaiian style wings. I actually wasn't expecting much but that's really good and like I said it reminds me of a um, Korean chicken but more on the soy sauce side but it really has a good garlic flavor um, I actually enjoyed that more than the buffalo um, there's choices of blue cheese and ranch for your sauce the fresh vegetables which are not dried out and gross um, those are pros the staff is very friendly uh, I'm not sure if he's the owner but the guy running the truck and the girl that's in there um, helping out. They're both very friendly and nice. Um, they have another flavor barbecue sauce wings also. So if you're um, not into the buffalo or the spicy, you can also get barbecue. Um, like I said, they have fries if you don't want rice. Another pro is the rice is cooked very well for a food truck. I kind of like the way it's cooked. It's more on the hard side, um, not in a bad way, but it's not mushy and it's um, a little um, harder in an edible way. I don't know how to explain it, but um, sometimes my mom would cook it this way, Korean food style. I like it. It's uh, not as mushy and sticky. Um, so that's pretty surprising for a wing truck that the rice is cooked well. And this is, yeah, strictly a wing truck. You're not going to find anything else, no other plate lunches, so if you're craving wings, go here. Um, and another pro would be having the rice, uh, a choice of rice or fries, because this will definitely fill you up. Sometimes when you just get wings um, and carrot sticks, that's not going to fill you up. So having the combo with that starch really will be a good filling lunch or dinner, in my case. Um, Parking is easy. It shares the lot with that uh, beer and wine store right there. Um, when I got there, it was empty, but as I was waiting for my food, people were going in and out. So it's a pretty busy parking lot, but people are mostly going to that liquor store and they just go in and out and pick up stuff and leave. So even if it's crowded, don't let it discourage you. Somebody will leave quickly. 
Um, I don't know how it is in the day. I'm assuming it's probably a lot more slower in the day in terms of parking, so you'll probably easily find some. Um, for the cons, I don't have many cons except that um, the buffalo wings, for some reason, were, were all a little on the salty side, but it's still edible to me. But I think if you tone the salt down a smidge, it would be perfect. Um, these wings are not dry at all. It's fried, I don't know, perfect. Outside crispy, inside moist, and it's fully cooked. It's not raw or anything. Um, definitely not dried out because that is a no-no for wings, of course. You don't want some dry leather boot meat in the middle. And I've had them before, um, especially at Buffalo Wild Wings. That's pretty bad. Sometimes they're overcooked. So, you know, those big chain wing places, not so good. So yeah, support the small local business that just opened up two months ago in the parking lot of that liquor store. The corner to find it easily is out of Kinao and P.E. Koi Street. They're right on the corner right there. And behind it is the Safeway Baratania. So definitely check out more wings. Um, and I'll see you again for another food adventure. If you like this review, press the like button and subscribe to my channel. And check out my other videos if you're looking for other places to eat on the island of Oahu. And I'll see you again. Peace out.